All opinions on the show are our own because we're some grown ass men. Welcome to another episode of the Team Lift Otaku Lounge with your hosts Zane Lopez and Roger McDaniel. Let's get right into it. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Coach. We're having another episode of the Anime Roundtable. You know we come out to the cons. That seems to be our thing. We always hook up with people that are our friends, our fam, other guys that are YouTubers and, and podcasters. And we always get together and we have a great time when we do this show. Today, special episode. You've heard about the man. You've seen him before. You're finally gonna. You're finally going to get to see him on here and understand why we love him so much and why I get down with this dude. We've got some other guests. We're going to go ahead and get started. As always, my boy Zane Lopez in the house. Zane, what's up, man? What up, guys? All right, man. Zane, you've you been real mellow here, man. I'm always mellow. What are you talking about? You really are, but you extra <laughs> mellow tonight. We had some drinks before we did this one tonight. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> also, finally, I'm going to start over here. You've heard me talk about him before. We talk about Belly on the show. Uh, I outed him over one time. I think I said you cried over an anime, but I didn't cry over <laughs> More it. More than likely. It did. I remember as the episode aired, when the episode aired, you sent me a text message. Bitch, you going to lie on the show? I'll come on there and out you for what you cried on. And I was like, oh, okay, that's heat. So let's wait a year before I bring you on the show. <laughs> He's here, Adrian Oliva, my boy Belly, Master Belly in the house. Also, we're going to keep it with the Oliva brothers. Another homie of mine, man, from Amarillo, Angel Oliva, you's on the show. First time here. Right. First time. You, you're special. We're going to get into why you're special. <laughs> um, we were originally just going to do a Magical Girl episode. But you know what? I can't even get into this. Because there's one person we have, we've not announced. Mm, the other Oliva brother. The other trifecta of this Magical. Where's Chino at? Chino, you got to do your thing, man. Come on. Hey, what's up? Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I needed that. I needed that to happen, man. Y'all saw Chino come in, man. We, you already know what kind of family the Oliva brothers are when Chino just runs in and does that, man. Uh, we're gonna get into this, man. I, the episode today is about magical girls. So you know, on Anime Roundtable, we pick a genre and we break that genre apart. But this is going to be a special episode because before we get into Magical Girls, uh, my homeboy, Angel, uh, a.k.a. Salt Lord, is uh, about to get on here and hate on some stuff. There's some, you, this started as a phone call and I almost cussed you out, but then I said, you know what, I'm not going to cuss you out and ruin our friendship. I want to, vid- I'm on a videotape so you can't lie about what I did, okay? <laughs> so I'm bringing you on the show. You got some salt, you want to hate on some stuff from this season. Yeah. I don't hate anime, but I hate anime. <laughs> See, <laughs> he, he kills me with that. I don't hate anime, but I hate anime. Okay. So there's a show that, you know, we just did an episode not too long ago where we were breaking down the 2017 season. Yeah. And we, we were talking about what we liked. Yeah. One of the shows that you and I really like this season, Salt Lord Hates. I'm going to go ahead and start it off. It's Restaurant to Another World. You hate the show. In another world with my smartphone. Oh, you you, you also, yeah, I know that's another show. Well, which one do you want to talk about? The one that's smartphone? Smartphone, because Let's that's talk the one about we were talking about. You, okay. okay. Like restaurant, don't yeah. You? Okay. I, 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 that, that one's okay, yeah. It's okay. <laughs> yes. You just think it's okay. Why is it okay? Why is it not? Uh, do you not like Slice of Life or what? Uh, we're talking about restaurant now? Yeah, I just want to know why you just think that's okay. Why I think it, it's okay? Yeah, you don't. It's not like outstanding. It's not great. It's just meh. Overarchingly, there's. It's it's a fine show. Whenever you're watching it, purpose of purpose of, but you know it is boring. But mainly, we're here to talk about smartphones. Okay. That was the show let's, we were talking about. Let, let's get it on. We're gonna get into this one because I feel I feel like people hate me through the camera already. With you, <laughs> here's what I want to get to. So in another world with my smartphone, another show this season. Yeah, very popular show. Everybody very popular show. A lot of people seem to like it. It's doing well on my anime list. It seems to be tracking really well. You hate it. There's no story. <laughs> I, okay. The main character is the Deus Ex Machina of every episode. There's nothing there. 
the main character is the answer to the entire series. He's written, it's almost written in my mind like a parody of that type of show. It's really funny. Yeah, it does feel like a kind of a parody of like Sword Art Online kind of shit. Or not Sword Art Online, sorry. Um, ReZero. Re like an opposite parody in that where they're trying to go too sweet with it that it's funny in a way. Just no, it's hilarious. I love it. See, I like it. I like this show. You hated it. You hate. You hated the whole thing about the main character. Every episode's so bad. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. He, it, I mean, there's, I, there's like, there's not really rules about storytelling, but there is one like oh, overarching thing that most, um, I would say. Uh, you know, storytellers go for is that when you bring a cell phone into a story, right. it kind of ruins the plot. It's the overarching plot device that ruins everything. It does everything in the show. And it literally has a god in the machine. It has a day at the he, he can call a god on it. I'm, I'm not debating anything you said. You're I'm, right. I'm not going to say that he's wrong in the public opinion either because 17,108 people at this moment have only given it a 6.48. That's not an outstanding score. That's it's like not a, that's outstanding. Like an yeah, it's like a man. Yeah. I, I still love it. Well, I love it for a lot of the reasons he said he, he, it was okay. Well, not it was not okay, but like it is hilarious. The things he hates about it are the things I love about it. It's, I don't... I actually, now it's mentioned, I don't see the story, but at the same time, I think I'm more watching it because it's hilarious. And because I love, like, I love, like, harem where the guy is almost completely unaware. Exactly. I love that portion. But that's, I, that's it, the reason I'm watching That's the it. thing I hate. I hate <laughs> harem where a guy doesn't understand. Like, here's my thing. That's I'm like, like one like, harem. Like, like, okay. First of all, you're going to go hands off on that. <laughs> yeah, We're going to yeah. get into that in a second. But here's my thing. Like, when I come to watch harems, let's just face it. Harems are tired cliches. They're always cliches. Do you have a problem with it? I love harems. <laughs> Sorry, you love hair. I love hair. I <laughs> we watch a lot of them because it's just a, you can't avoid the genre. I was like, harems are everywhere. Yeah, you're gonna see a harem whether you like it or not. But the thing that kills me about harems is let's look at it. Sword Art Online is probably the most popular harem as far as crossing over and having that whole shonen action. It was big. No, there was ever a harem at any point in time. It was like several girls liked him over time, but and they did like him all at the same time in the end. But they were all accepting of. Uh, it was. Suna. A, it was. Bro, but here was the thing: all the girls wanted to be a Suna. They all wanted to be not. with Corito. <laughs> they all wanted to be with Corito. I wanted to be Kirito. I mean, yes, yeah, well, Kirito. Uh, he had Kirito it. from Gun. Yeah, uh, gun. Uh, the Gun Game. Well, maybe then I want to be awesome, if you know what I mean. <laughs> no. Yeah, like so, I'm going to put my glasses on oh, oh, just to look over no, my glasses. In the gun one, whenever yeah. he had the female mod. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, it's help me. This show's already getting wrong, man. <laughs> it's already going wrong. So, I mean, it is a tired cliche, but I still, like, when I watched In Another World with my smartphone, I didn't go to it looking for, oh, this is quality. Oh, it's, I mean, it can be fun, but if you're looking in that show for any kind of plot, it's not there. It's just anime trope central. Just every single trope they could throw at. Poorly written female characters that love the main character, which is fine. Yeah, I'm but. I think of another parody anime that it reminds me of. I can't think of one because he's ripped this there, one so badly. That's all I can think of. There's a parody that I can't come. It doesn't come to mind right now. Uh, I'll bring it up later if I remember it. Okay. So, there's another show. I personally love this show. <laughs> yes. We're going to get this shit out. We're just going to say, this is the part where this show was rated G right up to the end. Was it that? Yeah, it was. Just this shit's shit. about we to go said, real. You said shit twice now. Yeah, that's why I said it was rated G up to the end. It's... <laughs> But shit's about to get real. That's the third time. Okay. Are we getting into Saikano? Yeah, we're going yeah, into Saikano. I'll admit, I watched the first two episodes, but because I just couldn't get into that main character. Did you watch the first season? First season, um, I couldn't get through it. But I had my points for why I couldn't get okay, through it. Okay, tell me why. Let's get into I mean, it. Listen, the, it is another harem anime which you, you know, again, you watch them not for their amazing plot, you know. 
Yeah, you know. Most most shows, unless it's, you know, like a real big studio production, isn't going to have a serious plot. It's just going to be something fun to watch. Uh, with that main character in that show, he, he's, again, written to be that sort of character. He, he's written to be very cringy. And his approach to every single female character in that show, and it's so off-putting to watch this main character be so oblivious to what's going on around him. And I just feel like that's how most characters in that genre are written to be. They're written to be so oblivious to it, and it's it became hard to watch. And it's been, what, a year since that show came out? Maybe I'll come around to it. I don't know. I, I, maybe I've changed in a year. <laughs> I'm trying not to get too much hate. No, man, I, my blood pressure's up, bro. You don't kill me. That's so much salt. My diet can't handle this much salt, dog. Some water? No, nah, man, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm just going to die right here in this chair, dog. Okay, so, and here's the thing. When we really break it down, isn't that an issue with all harem animes, though? How many harem animes have you watched? Like, this one at least had the idea of, like, they're trying to make a video game together. But wait, what are you talking about? What about with Sakano? But no. most... You said most harem animes what? Most harem animes have a problem with plot. That's just... Oh, yeah. I mean, because the the, the point that they're trying to get across is uh, why every girl wants to be with the main character. But if he's so shallow... But my no problem plot. with the character is that they're always just the plainest, right. boringest yeah, That's how guy. they're written to be. Just so that way, uh, you know, I, I think so that the viewer watching it sort of gets the sense of like, oh, this is just any plain Joe. And, I mean, I would say that that's any overseas, like, writing for you. Yeah, man. But, it's... Man, I, I, I sound terrible. You hate it. You you basically... I love anime. I, you love anime, but you know what I think it is? You've watched so much anime, you're now jaded. That's probably part of it, yeah. You're j- I mean, it's like, when we get to this thing, it's like, once you watch so many series, you start going, really? This same tired trope again? Well, no, here's the thing. He stopped watching anime for a love longest time. Like, there was a long, long period of time where Angel wasn't watching anime. 2009 and 2014, I couldn't stand anime. What? Yeah, at all. I was done with it. I respect that. Yeah, I mean, I I wasn't really watching anything besides Toonami at that point. I started getting back into anime, like, 2015-ish. I slowed down on anime until I went to a con. Once I went to a con, I fell in love with anime again. I think that's one of the best things about cons is how they make us fall in love with anime. That, especially at a con like this, we're at San Japan in San Antonio. This is San Japan. 2017 is the 10th, uh, 10th San Japan. This is yeah, the 10th yeah, anniversary. Right. Um, and it was, this was the first con that I came to. I came to this oh, one right. in 2015 mm-hmm. uh, with another friend of the show, uh, Sasha Walker. You know, her and I, she came together. And Angel, you were here, you were here. Was Guicho here? He was not. Okay. Uh-huh. I remember you two and Sasha and I hung out that day. Yeah. And so it was like, it was a great con. We had a lot of fun, but that was the con that really got me back into coming back into to the anime fold and really starting to watch it and watching it with a more critical eye. Yeah. And then, you know, actually talking about it, writing about it from there. Um, so I get where you come from. And it's so easy to get jaded. That's my thing. But I think a lot of times I have to watch what we call junk food shows to keep us from getting jaded where I was like I'm just going to turn my brain off and just be entertained that's that. I think that's why I can get through a lot of crap mm-hmm. you're right there's most harem yeah. like it's going to be hard for me to go out and do a show where it's like hey I got to pick my favorite harem anime <laughs> I like Sakano because it's entertaining I don't like Sakano because those he really does have the childhood friend character like right. it's written like they're and it seems like they write it but they know that they're mocking these tropes from the kind of game that they're making they're making a dating sim and that in dating sims there's always that childhood friend that the main character never thought of as a love interest and then there's that one kind of stand, standoffish aloof girl who's always had these walls up but she likes the main character she just wants someone to approach her those characters are written like the game they're making so it's kind of a riff on that and then there's the boring girl who never he didn't even know she was alive until they started making the game together right so i mean i kind of get where they're going 
I, if, if anything's a parody, that show's a parody of the whole Mirror Man Man. But you kind of hurt my heart with smartphone. But now when yeah. I think about it, I can't, I can't unsee what you just said because I know it's happening. Yeah. You were talking about uh, Girls in the uh, Wasteland. Girls earlier, in the Wasteland. Which is a similar show to Psychono, and that one was great. Now, you that know? was a definitely more dramatic take mm. on what they did with Sakana. Right. And I think it's just because they gave the main character goals. You know, he he was trying to be a writer of games and so that gave him a goal and gave him background. And so if you're writing your main character in like Psychino and all that to be sort of a parallel to the viewer, that's where it gets boring. Because yeah. I'm, you know, I'm not going to walk something to put myself in their shoes. I'm trying to watch something to get you know, plot and story and entertainment from. Yeah, yeah, Girls of the Wasteland told a story where we actually saw this group of high school kids come together to make a game, but the characters had depth to right. themselves. There was a reason why the childhood friend liked him. There was a reason why the girl at school who wanted to make a game, she did wasn't just like, I want to make a game. She's, you know, there's a backstory to what's going on. I'm not going to ruin it in case you want to watch it. And it, I think it's exclusive on Hulu right now. You can actually catch that one on Hulu. But it's, uh, it was definitely something to that story, you know, where they built this characters where everybody had goals, they had flaws, they had aspirations. So it was definitely something to think about. So any, hmm? any that you, out of, out of these that he's hating on, how many of them are you watching? I have actually never watched any of them. I have not watched Psychono. I have not watched... Uh, World, another world with my, with my smartphone. And I haven't watched uh, those ways. Really? You yeah. seek out the shows that you're planning to watch, right? Yes. Like, you'll, like, you know, because I, I mean, I'll just shotgun, like, every show of the season <laughs> and then just work my way through them all. So you will pick out shows. Right? Yeah, I pick out shows. I don't, I don't watch, like, everything at once. I try to, but then I'm just like, you know what? This one looks good. This one looks good. This one looks good. This one got recommended to me. This one got recommended. I gotta. That's what I'm on. I have a viewing schedule, so I know on Monday night two shows are coming on. Tuesday night three shows are coming on. Wednesday night two shows are coming on. Thursday night one show is gonna. No, two shows are coming on. Friday night is one show. That's 18 if. Saturday I get you know My Hero Academia and I forget what else. Oh, I usually play catch up on something else or watch a, a classic movie. Speaking of. My Hero Academia came back from their fucking two week, their one week break, and oh, it came out tonight. So it was just a break. It wasn't an end of season. Yeah, no, it was just a break. Oh no, no, no there's still like four more episodes. I was just making season. sure. Yeah, well, someone no, told me was that like was the end of the about, season. I was like, no. Uh, man. I know on Crunchyroll there was a notification about like, due to 24 hour television, the next season, the next episode of My Hero Academia is not coming out until September 2nd, which today. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I might have to watch that before bed tonight. Oh, I will. I will probably stream that and waste all my data. I need to watch that one and Dragon Ball. <laughs> I cannot keep up with Dragon Ball anymore. I have been watching like clips from Super, and it looks super dope. It's like I could watch it, but the I'm like, current arc has just been phenomenal. I'm just like, uh, do I really want to add another show? I, you know, I've refused to watch the Dragon Ball. The so. current arc actually fits into would fit into today's episode. Really? There were magical girls in it. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? There were magical girls. I'm going to just Magical watch that one girls episode. on an episode of Dragon Ball. Yes. I love it. I don't I'm know if I even want to watch that. I'm getting back into Dragon Ball. Y'all sold me. No. no I, I, and you're giving me more reason never to watch Dragon Ball again. Oh, fuck Yeah, you know, I just don't do Dragon Ball. I told you, man. I'm real. Like, well, he doesn't I hate Shonen. I, except for my hair academia. That's, and that was a hard sell. It, he, he had you to, watched all the Bleach. You had to beg me to watch yeah, My I Hero Academia. I did beg you to watch My Hero Academia. I don't do show. Here's my thing. And the same reasons that he hates most shows <laughs> right. are my same reasons I hate most shonen. Most shonen. <laughs> like you just said is, it. So, he hates shows in general. <laughs> like anime he just hates sucks. Shows. Yeah. He hates but shows, you know man. what it is? Angel has good points. You kind of get so much when you watch so much of it. You just go, this is a bullshit trope and you're going to give me a bullshit story. Right. It should not take you eight episodes to fight one nigga. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't no nigga take eight episodes to fight. It takes eight episodes to fight one dude on Dragon Ball. Well, see, here's fuck that. That's why Kai was if a great. If you can't put like my Kai ass in one episode, rebuild. you don't deserve to be a saint. Okay, Kai was a great rebuild for that reason. A good shonen, all that shit. I think needs to have good fight scenes, and you can't fit a good 
fight scene into just a couple episodes. Bullshit. Or you can Have get you it watched into a My Hero episodes. Academia? Have you watched One Punch Man? Okay. Those are both, <laughs> those are both good as shonen that fit fights into like five minutes. But One cuts. Punch Man had a story that was, you know, made <laughs> for episodes to end as soon as. Okay, well, let's go to My Hero Academia. So, so good. My yes, Hero no, Academia, second season. There's a two episode fight. And it's probably one of the best fights we'll ever see on that show. Two episodes. Get out of here. Hey, this phone tried to come in here with Gundam. Gundam. Gundam, man. Oh, that's true, man. Gundam did have one episode okay. battle. Well, the reason I like longer fights, um, one of my favorite shonen and harem anime was High School DxD. But my only issue with it was how short, like, everything was. They would find a person... Or, you know, they would find a villain and beat the villain in the same episode. I was like... They do the same thing on Sailor Moon and you don't have a problem with that? Because those are small mini villains. Whenever it's like, oh, here's big super bad guy, it's like, oh, shit's about to get real. And then they kill him in, like, the same episode. The fight is literally two attacks. I was like, come on, bro, really? I feel like Ice Garden is. I'm sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Come on. Just hate. Turn the hate back this way. I I can take it. (laughs) Yeah, man. I, uh... I was just gonna tell you, man. We could definitely uh, no. The hate, the hate's real when it comes to shonen for me. So I just don't do a lot of shonen. I mean, like I did watch Bleach. I watched the entire run of Bleach. I wanted to commit to that. I watched it. That's pretty much all the shonen I was gonna do for the rest of my life. I say that, but I'm still thinking about doing the whole One Piece run. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I really am. I'm still thinking about trying to watch 700 episodes of a show that's you know been going for years. Isn't that like twenty? It's like two. They just reached their two decade mark, I think, this year. Yeah, something like yeah. That. I think they've been doing it for twenty years. Well, they're on yeah. episode eight hundred and something right now. Um, you could they, always just skip that and then go do uh, Detective. Uh, no, Detective Conan. Yeah. There, there's <laughs> a website that tells you, hey, if you want to watch uh, One Piece, watch this art. Yes. Yeah, skip skip these. these. Go watch this art. Skip these. Bro, I'm 50 episodes in. I still haven't reached filler. I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to do filler or no filler. Yeah, and I think that's why I, I actually enjoy One Piece right now. Because we haven't reached filler yet. Exactly. Because I hate Bleach. Although I watched all 366, you give me two solid seasons of a story, and they never like, oh, we're caught up to the manga. So now we're going to give you 26 episodes of some bullshit story that nobody cares about. Because we got to let them write more issues of the main. See, and that's why I will never watch an Arto again. Because I was watching it, and then it reached that like endless filler art, yeah. where it was just nothing but filler, and it literally made the anime unbearable. I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna try to watch uh, Naruto now, and instead, it's just like as soon as I started up, I'm just like reminded of the filler. I'm just like, no, nope, can't take it. One, one piece <laughs> is better. <laughs> just watch Boruto. It's your Naruto fan fiction that you've always wanted. I got the strangest message. What? Uh, did you just stop the show because you got a message? Bro, if I told y'all what's on this phone right now, y'all would make me leave the show. There ain't tits and ass. I'm curious. Okay, that's almost tits. Great show. Okay. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> no, no, you leave it in. It was worth it. I, I, I don't. Sh- I have zero shape about what just came across this phone. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. You got. You got me. Oh, yeah. It's. It's okay. <laughs> Let me just stop this. Uh, Reed, I'm gonna need you to handle this for us, man. I gotta pass this off to you and set that up. Get that taken care of. Okay. So, um, let's go ahead and keep this moving. Because we got, I think we threw a lot more salt into this than I thought we were going to throw. <laughs> there was way too much salt. Let's actually get to the other subject. Tonight's subject, subject Magical Girls. Mm-hmm. This man loves Magical Girls in a way I mean, that nobody should. Right yeah, you're, you are <laughs> rocking the perfect shirt. It's the Sailor Moon shirt. Uh, you, kind you of got girls that girl. do magic, but she, they're not magical you know girls. She's my magical girl. Oh, wait. Actually, no. She's not magical. She's real cute. Yeah. Yeah. I thought about it for a second. I was like, yeah. no. Yeah, she is I not. She's my magical girl. Yeah. yeah, she's great. I mean, she's one of the greatest garbage men in anime of all time. Because <laughs> she's trash. 
Okay. It's not hate on real. I'm not, I'm not gonna hate on real, man. Not this episode. Is, is he trash wife episode? Because I'll love to do that too. Oh. <laughs> right here, bro. Right here. Okay. Yeah, we're bringing you back for trash waifu. We're doing that one. All right. So here's how it goes. Magical girls. We we kind of talked about the genre before. If you were to, Belly, this is to you. If you were gonna describe Magical Girl animated anybody, how would you describe it? Oh man. So I mean, like, just textbook definition is just you know, girl attending school gets powers through random happenstance, and just uses it to be you know be a random enemy every single episode and eventually to eventually you know reach the, her ultimate goal. Or it's whatever. Power Rangers, but with cute girls. Yes, <laughs> it is Power Rangers with cute girls that do magic. You know, magical girls is definitely Power Rangers for girls. Transformation is like the quintessential part. Yeah, of transformation it. is. Like they had to have that transformational sequence. Yeah. It has to be. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? You always help me with words that I know, but I can't figure out in the moment. I have no idea right now. Sophisticated. Oh, it has to be like, yeah. Yeah, it has to be long a long, and drawn, drawn out, out yeah. process. Oh my god, yeah. No magical girl time. has an easy, like, hold on, let me run into this, you know, telephone yeah. booth like Clark Superman, King. and I'm, I was you gonna, know. I was going to say, wait, wait, not Madoka, but no, now I think back, yeah, Madoka yeah. even had the first time all the girls were becoming magical girls, like, to show off to Madoka and her friend. It was like long, drawn-out sequence with fucking nude elementary girls. Or middle school, sorry. Yeah, no, that's, I mean, that's how Magical Girl always happens. Whenever they first introduce their transformation, it's the most long, drawn-out, uh, you know, it's the most long, drawn-out process. But after that, it's, um, you know, it's short. Like, yeah, you're still going to get a long transformation, but it's nowhere near as long as it was when they first transformed. But then they bring too. that back at the end, too. Yes. For their final battle. <laughs> they do, they do, and that's I think that's one of the funny things about. So when we talk about the magical girls genre, you're gonna hear a lot. Like if you're coming back to anime, you're gonna hear people talk about magical girls. Magical girls kind of had a renaissance in the last couple of years. They brought back Sailor Moon. Brought back Sailor Moon. Um, one of the, you know how we were just talking about uh, the long drawn out process. One of the best parody and or parody magical girls that I've seen. Uh, pretty much make fun of that is Nurse Witch Komugi R. I have not seen this. So, her very first transformation, it literally goes into this, like, detailed explanation about how long the transformation <laughs> takes, all this kind of stuff, and then at the end it's like, but all this is done in a matter of 0.5 seconds or something like that. I was like, oh, that's hilarious. Oh my god, no, I have <laughs> not seen show, that. Yeah. yeah, Nurse Witch Komugi R is phenomenal. So what is that on? That one is on Crunchyroll. Okay, so you are seeing that one on Crunchyroll? Good deal. I may have to throw that Which, in the list. I think it's actually a remake, right? It is, yeah. It's a remake? Okay. Because the first one was... It got weird, the first one. Yeah. yeah it, You've shown me clips of the old one. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, it's actually a remake. Uh, the original Nurse Witch Kamugi was uh, done way back when. I don't really know anything about it. I've just seen a few clips here and there, but it's actually got weird. All right, cool. Now, let's go ahead and talk about some other Magical Girl shows. I know one that I love that that has kind of deconstructed the entire Magical Girl genre and has now become one of my favorite Magical Girl shows. And yeah. that would be Madoka Magica. Okay. Now, I'm not going to do the full name, but anybody watching the show, you want to know it, we'll definitely put it in the title. But what, Puella Magica, Madoka Puella Magica? Pody or something like that, Madoka Magica. It's a oh, long name, Puella but if you go Magica. look up Madoka... Yeah. Magica, you Puyo will Magi, find the Madoka show. Magica, right? Yeah, Puyo Magi, Madoka Magica. Yeah. Yeah, you will find it. Just look up Madoka Magica and it pulls up at every search. Yep. I mean, yeah. It's That's not the hard only, to find. It's the only fucking magical Madoka anime, period. So Actually, what's so beautiful about this one is you can go get the entire thing plus the movies all on Netflix right now. Mm -hmm. Everything is on Netflix for this one. Um, and I liked it because it wasn't... It, it was the whole thing it was the magical girls the long drawn out sequences them fighting you know they're, they they get this ability to use their magical powers to bring a wish true and that sounds like every like i'll grant you your one greatest wish if you'll become a magical girl and that sounds so great and then it is the most dark sinister menacing show of magical girls it takes it's the darkest show in anime i've ever watched Oh, you, I'm about to say, don't say the darkest anime because I no, would fuck I your whole world watched. up. Yeah, okay. Yeah. There was one other magical girl I've seen that actually followed the same, you know, dark path. You know, same thing. It was, you know, you know, 
win the game or whatever, and you become the or you become the magical go grant your wish, whatever. I know where we're going. And this one is called. Hold on, let me pull up its name real quick. Oh, because uh, I I'm thinking you're about to. I'm gonna wait to see what you say, but you know what I'm thinking. Magical girl raising project. Oh no, I was thinking selector wish cross. I the Wizards. Oh, okay, Weox. yeah, no, that Weox. is the one you yes. so you know, Weox. that is, I don't know if you guys have watched that. That is on some Madoka Magic of Darkness. Yeah. I saw the latest one, not the old one. They were, I watched the first and yeah. the second season of that you one. You binged it in one night. Okay, here's the thing. <laughs> I did that whole first and second season, and I still, it's the only show that is just as dark as Madoka Magic. Where the storyline is like, this is twisted. What can we find this on? Uh, that, that is all this. over Crunchyroll. Did we do that? No, I just, I just searched. Like Crunchyroll. I have the latest season. Uh, Funimation had most of it. I yeah. Think. Oh yeah. Funimation that could have been where we did the whole thing, man. It could have been Funimation. But yeah, because I'm about. telling you, it was all over the place when you watched it. Because I think you watched the first season on Hulu. I may. I actually may have watched it when it was streaming still. I was like, I stay current with that. Yeah, one. stuff was like, simulcast. watching that one was all. Oh man, I was place. all over the simulcast for that one. But then I think I did ended up. I think we found it may have been Funimation. It could have been Hulu. It, I'll have to go look on that one. I'll put it in the notes for the show. But that was definitely. If you guys want, oh, I'm not done getting my heart ripped out and, and having enough darkness in my life. I definitely for, should. Magical Girl Raising Project, same thing. Uh, so okay, Raising Project. Yeah, pretty much the premise is. You know, these, they're playing a game, and of course they get offered the chance to become a magical girl, yada, yada, yada. Well, there's 16 magical girls, and there's only, there should only be one, because that's all the power they have to uh, support them. So, in order to knock them all out, they're playing this game, whoever has the most points gets knocked out of the game. And stuff gets dark. Oh my god, that sounds like epicness for me. Yeah, it's, and it's great because it's only twelve episodes, so every episode is like Aww, something hard. It's moe as fuck. Yes, oh, it, it, it is. is. Oh god damn it, this is gonna kill me. I don't hate cute things. I will we'll say that. That's this one is, thing that I can say I don't hate. Okay, now we're friends again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have a, I like. Know. I like bad stuff happening to cute people because I hate cute people. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I hate, like if you're cute, not like babies are cute and puppies are cute. But if you're like a girl, like a Japanese schoolgirl in the anime, and you're super cute, like ah, I'll be like, I hope you get something bad happens to you. You know, like I don't want you to, you know, get hit by a truck, but I hope you get turned into a creature and we have to kill you. I mean, I do hope that sometimes. I, God, I just hate bad anime writing. You are going somewhere else. <laughs> you don't ask me. You don't know about my life. You don't judge me. I love cute. cute <laughs> but they're so kawaii. Oh, yeah, and I hope bad stuff happens to every single one. Oh, yeah, all, all but fucking one, apparently. <laughs> Guess what we're watching next? <laughs> yeah, it's already on my list. I'm ready for this. Oh, man. So, okay, what is what about you? Favorite Magical Girl series? Um, I don't have a, a favorite one, but I will watch any of the current ones. Uh, I've been, uh, last season I watched uh, Twin Angel Break. Uh, okay. That's another remake of a classic, and it was great. It was fun. The, see, that's what I'm talking about, that renaissance. A lot of the old Magical Girl shows are getting remade. And that's, and I think that's great for the genre, because it's a whole new generation of girls who may not have watched it. And guys, like... A lot of guys watch Magical Girls. This is proof right here that we don't look like, if you come to us and go, what kind of anime do you watch? Well, I'm all over the map. But yeah. this is four men that just talked about, you know, Magical Girl anime and told you there's actually some good writing in there. I would like to see more deconstructionism of Magical Girls because Madoka fucked me up. But in, like, a way that, like, I enjoyed, the, I enjoyed having my fucking heart torn out, ripped to shreds. Yeah. yeah, and you know the and part about the dope. Like, yeah, I watched that and I felt nothing. I was just like, "Oh, that was a really good story." <laughs> like, everybody else was telling me, like, I watched Madoka and it, it was like terrifying what happened to these little girls. And I watched it, it's like, I wonder if there's a season two that is. <laughs> like, I ate cupcakes while I watched it. I was, I was in a happy place, which I'm not quite sure what that says about me in 2017. Maybe 2016 wrecked me more than I want to admit. <laughs> Because I watched Madoka Magica and I was like, yeah, I want a second season. I just like all this bad stuff that happened to them. That was entertaining. It was, it was, come on, it was a great written show. Like, it I was, didn't expect oh yeah, the, the, awesome. 
It was a dark story. Like when you go into Magical Girls, I okay, I'll give you my perfect example. My favorite Magical Girl episode or show in the last two years doesn't even have Magical Girls on it. It has Magical Guys. Yep. Cute High Defense Force is hilarious. Yes. It is straight comedy. Cute Higher Defense Club. Yeah, and I'm you, glad that you brought that up because that is a great show. Thank you. Yeah, See, that, 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 and it, it, that totally deconstructs Magical Girls. It put guys in. Guys who are self-aware of all the tropes of Magical Girl anime. The cute magical creature that grants them powers and they're fighting for love and a wombat. It, oh <laughs> yes. my god! It is it is the greatest. Oh my god! It is okay, the greatest the show. If you have no, if this you is don't like watch it, in high school club meets <laughs> magical girls. Like, and yes, all right, but, I'm about. But it. the comedy it on that show, you're gonna give it a shot now. Okay. Yeah, the comedy on that show. Like, I'm talking about, even when I watched it in, I watched it, you know, dub. No, I watched it sub. I can't stop looking at the fucking picture. Oh, no, you can't. <laughs> it's just hilarious. Yeah, this was one that whenever it first Let's started, you and Angel kept talking about how good it was. And I was like, I need to watch it. I know, I know. Didn't watch it up until oh, you told shit. me we were recording this episode. I went on a magical girl spree, started watching as much as I could. Q Hired Defense Club was on the list. Now I fucking know. That is like one of my favorite shows. I, did you watch it when it was current? Yeah. You were watching it. Air? Oh, yeah. Okay, so I had never been so happy to get a season two of one right. show. <laughs> that season two came through, and I was like, "This was everything I wanted and more." It's I'm talking about right now. If you watch this show and you watch it subtitle, those subtitles are going to make you laugh out freaking loud. It was that hilarious. And I believe it's dubbed on Funimation. There is. It is on Funimation. If you have the Funimation account, you can't get it dubbed. Uh, I don't know who some of the actors are. I didn't look into... I think I think Max Middleton is here. Does one of the... He's a dub on one of those. Huh. I think he's one of the characters. So I need to look into that. Yeah. But uh, that was one of my favorite magical girl shows. And there are not any girls on it. It's all magical boys. Yep. And it's hilarious. Hilarious. So those are my two. If I had to pick two that you say, hey... In the magical girl genre. I'm going to go cute high defense force. And I'm going to go Madoka. And Selector Wish Cross is my honorable mention. Because that's just dark. Okay. It's like Yu-Gi-Oh! And the same thing. I'm going to grant a wish. If you can win this game. And they're playing the Yu-Gi-Oh! battles with cards. And then you find out something jacked up about that whole game. And bad things start happening for a bunch of episodes. And you're like... And it's great because, like, the cards take a backseat to the story. Which is yeah, the bad. cards are a backseat. The, the card battles are not what the story's about. It's about these young women who are put into this horrifying situation and how they develop. Kind of like Madoka. There's a thing where we're like, there's a horrifying thing, but we're watching these people develop. They're having to get through this hard thing and develop as character. It's definitely character focus, which is what I love about it. It focused on the characters and gave me a great story. Okay. All right, Zane, it's up on you now. You still looking at wombats <laughs> and just in love with everything? Yeah, I can shit on mascot characters, but I'll save it. Yeah, man. <laughs> we, we're we not going to shit on that one. We're going to give you this one. You have to watch that. Mascot characters almost always ruin shows for me. I, I can do cute, but if there's just a character that is meant to be the mascot, that could end my, uh, my investment in the you, show. But you know where that comes from? That crap right there. Right, yeah. Um, the cat, Luna. The cat on Sailor Moon who was just there to be a mascot. You can do it! And I'd be like, yeah, you can do it too. <laughs> Mostly shut the fuck up. Do that. Because you, you're getting on my nerves. But yeah, it's it's definitely that. In a magical girl. What you got? I would... Oh, I don't know. I, if, I've been getting into that deconstruction bullshit, so I would go with Madoka too as my number one suggestion. Just because... With Magical Girls, that one, it, it brought me in the first episode, and I was like, oh, this is really cute, and I actually like the drawing, like the art style is like oh, yeah. a sketchy kind of art style, like their eyes look like they hand drew the fucking sketches in the eyes, and they left that in there the entire season, and it was awesome, like, I love the art, but then by the end of like episode three, two, three, no, three, I think it was three, the whole show like went... And I was like, <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was the worst. 
the rest of the deaths, I was like, it was but, less of a, but it, more of a. Yeah, that first one was the worst for me the entire show. The rest of them, I was like, oh no, but mommy. Yeah. Yeah. No, that was good. Yeah, Madoka Magica, I think, would be my pick. That one, I don't know if you've seen them yet. I still have to watch them. I think we talked about this earlier, actually. The uh, the movie. The movie post. No, I've not watched the movie that takes place after the series. You probably I haven't watched, watched that. that one yet either. Yeah, I actually have a fucking wall scroll. I didn't realize it was the movie's wall scroll. I have a fucking Madoka Magica wall scroll, and it's from the fucking movie. So now I have to watch the movie, or else I'm a poser weed. <laughs> You're no real weed. I'm not a real weed. Yeah, I'm, and, and I'm not even a weed. I'm just a sensei that's hateful and drinks too much. See, that was me at a, at the idol thing today. I was like, I'm not a real weed. I've been put down well, so I, Yeah, I was talking shit about you not voting gang. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why I was like, I'm no real weed. Yeah, no, I'm not. I would never, you would never see me at an idol concert. Like, I would go watch idols and I would love the music, but you would never see me with the lights. I didn't have light sticks or I would have. I, but here's the issue. I didn't. I know. I knew three songs during that whole thing, so I was like, I, I'm no real. Oh no, bro, we're out. Of the we're out of the. We're play, out of the huh? idol music. We, songs we don't follow. Play. Play. No, uh, no. I was two of them were. Out of these songs, and then I don't the know. third one I knew was from the last girl that went on from New York. Okay. Yeah, she was like her first song. I was like. <laughs> uh, talking about the uh, panel from earlier. Uh, yeah, the, the school or the idol. Idol concert? Oh, the girl that was from New York? Yeah, the girl okay, that was from so New York. Okay, so cool, Leanne. We're going to be having her on the show. Okay. We are going to get her right. on the show. She was the idol from uh, New York, and she... From Nova Drop. She's the leader of Nova Drop. Yeah. Yeah, she does. She has their own crew up there. Uh, so what we were talking about, Harry Saint Japan, uh, you guys know we did this at Anime CTX. We talked about the uh, Texas Idol Festival, Volume 1. Today was Volume 2. It was actually... The, the Idol Festival started at San Japan Night. Oh. This is how they started. So that's why they were talking about it. it was their second annual. That's why it was called Volume 2. They were coming back with a brand new crew of girls. Uh, one of our favorites on the show. We're big fans of Love Note Idols. Um, we saw them at our first Anime Austin. We saw them at Anime CTX. We love Galaxy Girl Pida. We love Milky Kitty. Uh, we got really cool with uh, Martha Coleman and her whole group, Care Care Entertainment. So it was kind of cool, you know, we because we're doing the cons and we start meeting these people and we're following their careers and interviewing them. So it's neat seeing them in that thing where we got a big group. I still think my favorite thing from that was seeing them all come together to do that one big number. Yeah. Yes. Oh my gosh, yes. I love <laughs> like I said, I love idols. Don't get like I love idols, but that last part was just like. Ah. <laughs> See, this is why we'll bring you back on the show. I mean, here's what you guys are looking at. This guy here wants to be an MMA fighter. And so I know that they're going to be watching this episode. They're going to go, Big Boy keeps doing this. Oh, I love idols. And <laughs> this is the thing. Like, he can get in the ring, and it's, and it's like he is a, a freaking mountain of a man. He could hurt you if he wanted to. But if you stop him in the match and start saying, I love Madoka Magica. He's not punching you. He's going to stop it like, oh my God, I do too. <laughs> and that's when you attack. You're right wrong. Yeah, you are not wrong. You're wrong. People like him should be on the show, not this jaded mess. Yeah, no. You should have your own show where you're just jaded every week. And I would subscribe to that. Times 10. Yeah, I mean, dude, you're, you're just, you are, you're so. I'm a mess. <laughs> but that, the thing is, I can't argue. Like, I, I had this whole defense about, Sakano is a great show and you're wrong. Did you hit me with your thing? And I went, I'm an idiot. He's right. <laughs> <laughs> you were <laughs> telling me what you were going to shit on you. I was going to shit on you. I was <laughs> really glad plans no. to shit on and you. And then I was like, Angel, what? I, no, I love that people enjoy stuff. I hate that. I hate that I don't like stuff. No, no. I, I actually like that you don't enjoy stuff because... You, you don't enjoy it for the right reason. It's not like you just picked a genre and said, I hate that genre and I'm never going to try it. You actually went into it and you looked at things that we should look at. What is the writing? Is it a one-dimensional character? And let's face it, a lot of times in anime, women sometimes become just freaking window dressing. They have zero personality. They don't move the story along. They're just there for as a, as a prop for this main guy. 
who most times is boring as a piece of wood, you know? Yeah. Has zero personality. He's just Joe Average. And I think that's because they think the people watching anime, the guys watching it, want to feel like, hey, I'm a loser dweeb, and I can have a whole harem of girls. And I'm like, bro. I agree with that. You may have to have a personality to have a harem of girls. Just trust me. Dating three at one time was hard. Not that I know. Heard that from a friend. <laughs> I was just saying, from a, I've heard that from a friend. It's hard to date three women at one time. I was never like that. I was a piece of wood. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like doing this like an anime. <laughs> you are not going to be doing this to me. <laughs> Come on, bro. You yeah, lie. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, you lie. No. I, I have a question for Angel, though. Oh, what's up? She, so... There's a there's a couple of like short shot episode seasons this season. Um, two of them that come to mind are um, we're both watching. Them. Oh, Surrey Surrey Dairy Children. Right. And then what's the one on uh, the what's the like terrible terrible one? Oh, Netzua Trap. Netzua Trap. So how do you feel about those two? Because those are like super short, super oh. sweet. They don't have a lot of time to fill the plot. First right. of all, how only they... one of those is super sweet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, go ahead, that's why they're great, though. I mean, that's why it's that's why it's totally trap is so great because it's just so trashy. It's tra- I mean, no. it's it's your daily soap opera, like it's your daily raunchy soap opera, yeah. and that's what makes it great. Yeah, it uh, is so raunchy. And I mean, here's the thing: you're like watching it, and you're just going, "I only like one character on this show, and he is dumb as a box of rocks." Like you haven't figured out that your girlfriend is cheating with her girlfriend. You're dumb as a box of rocks. All the signs are there. Your best friends figured it out. Everybody in the school knows these two girls are having sex, but you. And I'm just like, this dude is like, he's so nice. You feel for him. You actually feel bad for him. You're just watching it and you're going. there in that position before. You know what? I think every guy that's ever been cheated on watches that guy and goes, I remember that innocence. (laughs) I remember that was me. Because he's getting cheated on and he has zero out of he thinks she's the most wonderful girl in the world, and they're dating, and he's happy to have this pretty girl. And the whole time, she's a raging slut. And I can't get enough of that Bro, show. I swear, I think you're talking about Scum's Wish, like, through half of the Look, <laughs> I don't want to get into this. Scum's Wish. I finished Scum's Wish, and I'll tell you what I felt. Emptiness. Yes. The world was bleak. <laughs> I was, like... I was empty. I couldn't yeah. feel. I didn't have any happiness. I had no joy in how Scum Swish ended. I just felt like I read a diary, and it was the most personal, gut-wrenching diary I'd ever read, and then I was empty. Like, I, I didn't even feel bad for Bro. people. I was just like, this just means all humans are shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's felt like, cool. Felt Gross. Like felt like each other's art palette. Just, just felt bleak. And oh, it grand. was so bleak. And that... Like, I watch Madoka Magica, and I'm eating cookies and, and sunshine, and there's rainbows over my house. I watch Scum's Wish, and, and that's a trap, and I'm like, people are shitty. People are terrible. I feel like you 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 are, you are can associate with the realistic anime yeah. more than you can the, like, I do. surrealistic, magical yeah. reality. Yeah, like, <laughs> look, man, I'm just going to be honest. When you... I wasn't always a guy who lived by the greatest moral code, okay? I did some things that I'm not proud of as I'm older. I dated a lot of women, and in some of those situations, I was a good guy with a lot of integrity, and in some of those situations, I did some ho shit, okay? I'm just, I'm gonna just call it what it was. It was ho shit, and I was a terrible person for doing that ho shit. And I watch animes like this that are based in realism and in ho shit, and I'm just like, I feel nothing. I'm torn apart. I was a bad person. That's what I get when I watch those. Like, I've been both sides of the the innocent characters and the, and the bad characters in those anime. So I love them. But, yeah, I watch Magical Girls, you know, get their head ripped off and they die a, a horrible death and they're super cute and they just wanted to save their dad from cancer. And I'm like, yeah, that's cool. I wonder who's dying next. That's how I feel about that. <laughs> I, I know. I'm a terrible person. Yeah, you're going to love Magical, Magical Girl Raising Project. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah I'm just... I'm, sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm signing up for that one. Shuri Dury Churton, though. How oh, do yeah. you feel about it? Um, I am... I'm enjoying it. Uh, it is... Um, 
I feel like all the characters do have something going for them. So it, yeah. I mean, it, uh, it's a fine show. I don't hate it if, uh, if uh, that's what you're reaching for. <laughs> no, I'm, just, I, I'm just curious about the short ones that don't have time uh, to fill the plot. The short ones are always great. Uh, I've never had an, uh, I've never had an issue with any of the short from uh, uh, from, uh, from, uh, from from any season. Uh, even um, last season, I was watching uh, two minute show uh, Nyanko Days. Two minutes, it was fine. It was perfectly great. Uh, Watamo, two minutes. Every yeah. every second is something to watch. So I've always so yeah. You know I like that one, man. And there was just about an office girl who went out after work and got a meal and had drinks, and we were all watching it. Like I love this show. I love the theme song to it. And anytime she ate good food, she'd be like, "Cheers!" I loved her. Yeah. Sounds familiar to me. Yeah, she was just some office girl. You know, did her job as soon as she got out of work. Like. The episodes pick up right after she gets out of work. She goes to a restaurant. It just covers what she ate, or what she's eating, what she's drinking, you know, how they go so well together, and then she ends it off with and it's so good. Don't so, watch the live action one though, because that kind of carries it on a bit too long. So it's like Restaurant to Another World condensed to two minutes and about one person without yes. the fantasy element. Either. Without the fantasy element. And, right. and, but here's my thing. As a guy, like I know your story, you were a Port on Blue train chef. Yeah. You're gonna like it because it deals with the food and the, it deals with food and nostalgia and how food and drinks. What about it? Is a samurai gourmet. <laughs> it is samurai gourmet. He's told me to watch that fucking. Have you not watched it? No. Oh, samurai I've... gourmet. I'm, I'm going I'm to say that of this you. year, 2017. That's one of my favorite shows in 2017. Netflix. Was it just this year? Yes. Oh my god, dude! I felt like it was, it's been forever. I was like, it's already to come out with another season sometime. Yeah, dude. Samurai Gourmet was a hit us. Now it is based on a manga. I did not know that, but I had to do research into it. But it's based on a manga that told the story of a guy who retired, and he basically travels around in his retirement, finding restaurants and trying the food and and talking about the food and 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 remembering nostalgic moments from his life when he was younger. Relating to these these places, and Samurai Gourmet May is a live show found on Netflix. Yes, it is on Netflix. It's live action. It is probably, I think, uh, it in the Midnight Diner. If you want to watch, I, we'll bring you guys back for food. We could do a food episode. <laughs> We're not going to get into this right now because we will be here another hour if we do a food episode. I feel like we even touched on food a lot in the recent episode. We really did kind of... Oh, yeah, no, it was, the, our, it was like our first takes of, the, of this season in anime. Whenever we got to restaurants in the world, we probably uh, went on for like 10, 15 minutes on food. Yeah, food is <laughs> such a thing. Here's the thing. I think a lot of things that, you know, when we talk about anime and, and American audiences, Japanese audiences and American audiences understand the ability of food to connect us as, as people. Like, if you really want to get to know a person, sit down and have a meal with them. Yeah. It's hard to hate a person that you're eating a meal with. It is really hard to hate. Now, except when it's Reed and I. When Reed and I go to dinner, it's easy for Reed to hate me because I'm usually talking shit. Okay. <laughs> I live with this guy. Yeah, you guys live together. When we have meals together, I hate, the, I hate his guts. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's mostly because he's hating on every show you're watching. That's true. <laughs> he's I love telling anime. you why. I'll he's like, out there. you know, I like that you're watching that show, but let me tell you why that show is <laughs> shit. And we'll eat these steaks. While I will do it before I finish this steak. Here's why your show is shit. And I'll be like, he's not wrong, you know. <laughs> Finishes up all. I'm just. Man, oh my gosh, look downstairs. That is the line. Is that the line to go into the orchestra again? No. Is that? What is that? That is a long line. It's people. just a long ass line for something. Like yeah, like I'm just seeing this line is still going that way. That's actually pretty interesting. Mate, look, I'm telling you guys, this is the cool thing about coming out to cons. Say in Japan, 2017, we got one more day. It's going to wrap up here tomorrow, Sunday. But the thing that happens at cons is the sights, the sound, the excitement, the panels. It's not even so much about the panels. We came to this one. We didn't even come to this as a press team. It was about meeting friends and hanging out with them and having these experiences together. Like, to me, I got more excitement out of watching the Texas Idol Festival with you guys because you had not seen the Texas Idol Festival. And then it's something that I think Reed and I are so jaded because... It was like a third or fourth one. <laughs> we were like, just this year we've seen that many idols perform. So it was just kind of like, it's neat for us to bring other people to it and then share that experience. 
I'm telling you, next time you're going to see me in there with the glow sticks, like, bro, into it. I swear to God, I will pay money. Okay, here's our thing. You're watching the show. We were going to do a Sailor Moon cosplay. Sailor Mars? It's Jupiter. You were going to be Jupiter. I was supposed to be Sailor Moon. I was going to do the blonde wig and the red boots. We've been talking about doing it. Honest to God, we're going to pick one and we're going to go. You, we're going to go to it at Anime Con. You and I are going to be Sailor Moon. Okay. We're going to do a Sailor, a Sailor Moon okay. thing. You guys want in? No. Not really. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be that one guy you sent me the picture of. Who? Oh, Masa from My Bride is a Mermaid? I'll be Masa. Who would you cosplay? The main character from Saikano. <laughs> just not gonna dress up, Mr. Then? Bory. Yep, you're gonna you're gonna cosplay Mr. Bory. I'm already partway there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm poorly written and bleak. Oh, <laughs> and <I'm living> as... <laughs> this guy needs his own anime. He does. Like, <laughs> just an otaku that rips apart everything. That would be a good anime. I actually want to subscribe to your show already, <laughs> man. I'm just ready to push the subscribe button. You've been killing me today. Hey, you're wearing glasses like the guy. <laughs> you wear glasses like the lead character of Sakata. And then you made me realize he's, he sucks as a person. I, Angel sucks I, as a person. I, I, I hope you still like the show. Please like I do. Show. I love the yeah. show. I would still like. I would still go back and watch the show. The problem is when I watch the show, I'm going to go, this guy really does suck. <laughs> he, he, Angel wasn't wrong here at all. I just like characters that suck, obviously. <laughs> like 2.17? 2.18? You guys are still staring at that? I'm trying to figure out what it is. I don't know what's going on down there. It's, I'm pretty sure that if yeah, it's like, room 2.17, that's uh, the After Dark show with uh, Max, Robbie, and Ray. <laughs> oh, jumping over this rail. Yeah. Yeah, don't. That's two, it's 18, we're two floors up. Don't jump over yeah, that rail. That's only one floor of wall. You would die. <laughs> don't do that. Yeah. 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 great because there's it's always something going on the, into the night. There, there is. Man. <laughs> and this was a really good one because this is the only one where I've been where they actually have uh, like shows going all the way to 3 o'clock in the morning. Like if you have insomnia, this is your con because this, I love this, this one ran to like 4 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. there's uh, They even have an anime viewing room that goes 24 hours. There, Yes, there is. So, so if you get insomnia or you're drinking a lot, this is your con. If you're staying at a shady hotel and you don't want to go back. This is your con. <laughs> and it's easy to find a shady hotel in downtown San Antonio. We <laughs> stayed at a good one. We got a good one. We did great this time. The last time I went, mm-mm. Or last mm-hmm. time I came to this con, mm-mm. Oh, yeah, shady you guys hotel. stayed... Way to it wait. was like a 30 minute walk and I mean when we checked into the hotel there was crumbs on my bed I was like Ew. <laughs> that first joke, of all that joke has been running all weekend hold on <laughs> <laughs> did you just do that <laughs> this is why I love you and why I want you to be on a team lift show <laughs> this, ladies I want you to know when we do the wrestling show get used to that face I'm making <laughs> him come to our wrestling MMA show because I need a MMA show where the, the main guy will go ooh that's I, just, I didn't like that fight I just want that to happen on one episode that oh, was my a little too bloody ooh. love him for the reasons I hate him <laughs> these are all the reasons that Belly and I have got along man we were it's like we're very much we're in touch with our sexuality we know who we are and what we are but Belly has done some things that when he does it, I just go, he gets me. He knows who I am. <laughs> oh, my God. Is that 2B in a... Yeah, 2B and 9S yes. doing some cosplay shows. Oh, man. We need to get them on the show. That is some good stuff right there. That's good. I mean, I don't have my ring on me, so I can't wipe her. So. Uh, yeah, would you quit trying to marry every 2B at every no. con we go to? No. If I see a Junko, I'm here. I've seen two. Yeah, I saw, I saw a one... <laughs> who was really cute and then I saw one who was super cute but had a boyfriend Aww. I'm so and happy I was, she yeah, had a I boyfriend I don't get jealous <laughs> oh my god <laughs> you have two sides to you see this is the other <laughs> side this is the other side <laughs> this is the other side that you will see on the show um, we drifted so far away from magical we did really, really man. This, we came in with, girls. We, we came in with salt and then we had magical girls and then it just drifted into this is why we hang out. This is what happens. Welcome to Team Lift ADD. <laughs> oh, dude, Team Lift ADD is a it's a serious medical issue. No. It is a serious medical issue. Not uh, yet confirmed by a licensed physician. 
but some of us have been through certain simulator and it's pretty close. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty sure. We're sure that this is a certain situation. We should have a fundraiser for Team Lift ADD. Yeah, yeah. I'm okay with that. Okay, we're going to do it. We'll set up a what fundraiser. Did you that before? He's like, there's some money coming in? I did. <laughs> Hold on, what did he say? Oh, no, no, I'm talking about your poster right there. No. Oh. Uh, Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, there's a hashtag we have trending now. Uh free my nigga Zane. Yeah. It's uh <laughs> that's a hashtag. It's trending on Twitter. I, the fact that we got free my nigga Zane trending on Twitter is uh it was one of those good it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It is a great thing, man. I just can't believe that happened, man. I really was worried about you, man. I was just like I'm telling you that jaded clap when you were Yeah. Dude, it was like this. Yeah, yeah no, I'm not going to detail. I'm just, I'm this just is all know. I'm saying. Zane got salty at one point during the day, and it was like. <laughs> and I was like, I was clapping on the low key. I went, cracking your knuckles for a fight is not clapping on the low key. You, you are not clapping. You are cracking your knuckles like, oh, I got a flex on a fool, right? And I'm like. Nobody has bail money. We bought too many hug pillows. <laughs> what are we going to tell your mom? I, was like, I would get your son out of jail, but we bought hug pillows and hang posters, okay? So we're sorry about that. It happened. Stuff happened. All right. Anything you want to close out on, on this Magical Girl episode? Actually, yes. I haven't even got to cover my favorites. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's, That's right. right. You did we have one that you were wanting to surprise us with. Okay, so... If I was to suggest Magical Girls to anyone, they, I wouldn't actually suggest uh, traditional Magical Girl. As much as I love traditional Magical Girl, as much as I love Sailor Moon, you know, all that good stuff, I would not suggest those to someone to get into Magical Girl. I would actually start them off with, let's see, um, Magical Girl Raising Project, something like that, for someone who likes something darker and grittier. So if they want Magical Girls in Dark, you're going to say Magical Girl Raising yes, Project. Yes, or Modica Magica. Okay, so that's two good ones. Um, if you like funny parody Magical Girl, not full-on Magical Girl, Kill the Kill. Like, that is a very popular Trigger. I love Trigger Kill Studio. Kill. Yes. Uh, that was very popular. Uh... I'm going to have to give you that one. That technically does kind of play as a magical girl. I mean, it is a magical girl. It's got the transformation. It's got the transformation. transformation. It's got the high school girl who randomly got the powers because, you know, reasons, without getting too much detail, reasons. So, yeah, Kill the Kill um, is one of my, actually one of my favorite uh, magical girls. But the magical girl that I absolutely love right now, I just started it last week. I think I'm on like episode 9 or 10. Princess Tutu. Just, I know that sounds absolutely like, what the hell is this guy talking about? It, it, it has one of the deepest stories I've ever seen in a magical girl anime. Really? Yes, it gets amazingly deep. The music in it is really beautiful. It came Man, you out told like, me it was like, it made you like it was uh, Tchaikovsky, so you were like, no, this makes me want to take ballet. Yeah, it's a, I mean, it's a ballet, you know, anime, Princess Tutu. Um, so, it, I mean, it's got that, I don't even know how to describe the music, but, you know, ballet music, pretty much. Yeah. And, I mean, it's it's honestly a really beautiful anime. Um, it came out back in 2002, so it's not overly computer generated, you know, it's hand drawn. Like, okay, so a little bit of a classic. Yeah, it's it's getting to like classic those. level. It came out what fifteen years ago now? Yeah. Damn. And I love it. I mean, it is probably after I finish it, it's gonna top Sailor Moon as my favorite uh magical girl. Really? Yes. How many episodes? It is two seasons long, so twenty four episodes. Um right now you can only see it on Hulu. Okay. Um what sucks about it is they only have it dubbed. So there's no way to watch the subbed uh, one. Okay. Except for... I think we just lost lighting. <laughs> that's how. That's the crazy part about these shows. We can keep it going, but I think we just lost lighting there for a bit, man. Yeah, um, man. Sounds like we're closing, too. So. Yeah, man, it does feel like we're closing, but this place is still going to be hopping for another mm-hmm. couple hours. But yeah. There's still people around here. Like, we still got a lot of stuff. Hey, there's... Our man, hands to read, dude. He keeps the party going. Reed. He's like the, the behind the scenes extraordinary. Reed, why don't you come out and sing with us? 
You don't want to do it. <laughs> he's, he, man, if I could get Reed to sit on the sofa one time with us, it'd be amazing. I'll do that when the camera When the camera turns off, he'll come sit with us. That's, <laughs> see, that's, that's Reed. Uh, so, so, yeah, Princess Tutu is the, tra- the traditional. You're hearing it? You're hearing some bleed over from the orchestra downstairs? Uh, all right. So we're going to have to wrap it up soon. Yeah. But yeah, Princess Tutu. Princess Tutu is the traditional magical girl that I would suggest people watch to get into the magical girl anime. Okay. <laughs> and you say, and it's only on, it's only dubbed and it's only on Hulu. It's only right dubbed now. and it's only on Hulu. All right. But so. it's a great dub. Amazing dub. Oh, really? Okay. Yes, it is one of the best dubs I've ever seen. Which one? You, now, I know one of the brothers only watches dubs. That is Weecho. Guicho, you only do dubs, right? You don't want any subs? I want to be sitting there like that. I want to be on me like that. Okay, that makes sense to me. No. Because I know a lot of people, man, get really weird about that whole thing about, oh my God, I won't watch it if it's, you know, if it's dubbed. And I mean, there are a lot of great voice actors doing dubs that we've interviewed on the show. You know, whether it was Jessica Cavello, Lisa Ortiz. Man, some shit is really going off. Do you guys hear that? It's, yes, we hear that. Yeah, We're not it, all deaf. Yeah. <laughs> so it sounds terrifying to you. Yeah. Man, that's the beauty of these things, man. Cons. It sounds like they're having a sword fight downstairs. They are. Somebody's like downstairs fighting swords. Or somebody died. Well, I mean, they died because they were fighting with swords. Which, you know what? Here's the beauty of that. My black ass was upstairs and I'm not in that. So, that, you know, I love it. Once again, those could be magical girls dying. That's how much I care. I'm just, I'm up here. But if that was a romance and somebody's getting their heart ripped out because they got cheated on, I'm going to be a little empty for a bit. I'll be, I'll be emotionally affected by that. <laughs> but magical girls dying with swords, eh, poof, it happens every day. Oh, That's how it is in Texas. Magical <laughs> girls die with swords every day in Texas. I don't care. All right. What do you want to wrap up with? You got anything for people? Anime is great. Watch and enjoy whatever you want. A lot of it is awful. <laughs> Do you have a pick already for the season for a favorite? Um, Magical Circle Guru Guru has been enjoyable every single part. Uh, I've been enjoying it every episode. It's just nice and fun. Uh, something to actually relax with. It's colorful. The characters are... Um, it's drawn like an 8-bit show, so it's just been a blast to watch. Okay. Anyone? So what's your pick? You're still going with Madoka? Yeah. All right. Go, and then I told you mine. Cute high defense force, all magical guys. Madoka, I think is my favorite. You know what? I think Madoka is my favorite dark one, and I in Selector Witch Cross was my honorable mention. I was thinking that one dark too. Okay. Yeah, but man, I would have to say if I had to pick a favorite comedy, Cute High Defense Force. Mm. Just love that show. I said Princess Tutu. Oh my God. I'm gonna go get some Princess Tutu a shot. It's it's shocking how great that one. No, it's just something, let's say, like, if a parent wanted to watch it with their child. Absolutely. So Princess Tutu could be, like, parents at home right now watching Hulu. Yes. So my niece uh, loves Sailor Moon. Right. Um, I got her, you know, I got her watching Sailor Moon because I love Sailor Moon, showed it to her. She lo- She fell in love with it. And then, of course, Sailor Moon Crystal uh, didn't go, uh, or is only, like, four seasons in, I think. Right. Um, so found uh, Princess Tutu. And started up for her, and at first I was like, "Oh God, is this going to be questionable?" But no, it was actually really child friendly. Um, the child friendliness was there, but at the same time, the story is deep enough for for an adult to get into. Oh, nice! Yeah, so okay. stuff is just awesome. Okay, we'll have to throw that on our selected list, man. Of stuff that we suggest this year, man. They are having a fight down there. We better get out of here before shit gets crazy. I don't know what's going on down. Hey, wait a minute. Wasn't there supposed to be a Japanese game show tonight? Oh, that's yeah, over. that's already... It was at Had nine. it ended already? Yep. I was starting to wonder if that was them down there because they're doing that Japanese game show. That would make sense for that sound. Yeah. Because that sounds like Game of Thrones downstairs. <laughs> there is a sword fight taking place downstairs. There is a panel right now that's called Loud, Annoying, and Very <laughs> Annoying. <laughs> loud, Annoying, and Very Annoying is a panel happening right yeah, now? Yeah, fucking... Max what Middleton, room? Robbie Damon, and Ray something something. What room? It says two seventeen. Okay, I think so that's, that's two seventeen. Yeah. 
Yeah, that I is, think that's them over there. Yeah. So yeah, I gotta figure out what the hell's going on over here. We keep on saying over there, but it's literally below us because that's a mirrored window. Oh shit! I, yeah. Uh, oh. What? <laughs> That's a big giant window that's being mirrored right now because outside's dark and inside's light. Well, that is because amazing. Is it? Let's edit that out where we said the room was over there. <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing over there. Well, it does look like we're looking across the hall, but yeah, then I, as you say that, I just realized I'm reading this exit sign backwards right now. So I'm like, ain't that a bitch? I think we're off the rails again. Now that we see the context, please. <laughs> yeah, bro. Were, were we ever really on the rails? You we started with Saul. over here. You got damn right. Yeah, man, look. <laughs> Once again, guys, Belly, thank you for coming on the show. Angel, thank you for being a guest. If guys, if anybody wanted to follow you guys on Twitter, how would they find you? Um, Twitter, I'm the moisture. I think that might be moisture with a zero instead of O. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I'm the one place I really want people to follow me is twitch.tv slash moisture. Once again, with a zero instead of an O. All right. Yeah, you stream pretty heavy. I do. I'm start, trying to get back into streaming hardcore. All right. Angel, are you on social media at all? Um, yeah, they can send their hate at uh, Twitter, CG Angel. Okay, I need to follow you on there so I can send some hate, too. Um, <laughs> but then again, I'm going to be asked, what is pretty much all of our texts are going to be there. What do you think of this show? And then when you rip it, I'll go, it's not lying. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. I, I used to like that show. Thank you. And I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> That's why I don't talk to him before I start. Oh, no, man. But the thing is, I still watch everything. But you know, I'm juggling four, 14 shows this season. Well, it was 17, and I've knocked a couple out. Okay. It was 17, and I'm not like my dope. I did Little Witch Academia, and I knocked it out. Don't say anything bad about that yet. <laughs> I already said enough bad about that. You and I, after this show, we're going to talk about Little Witch Academia. And we're going to do that one. We need to do another show that's off the air where we talk about those, mm. like a behind-the-scenes show. I want to do that. We'll talk about some of those. All right, man, dude, we're going to have to have you back on, both of you guys. we got to have you back on. Quicho, you want to come jump in that, that parting shot, bro? Or did you give him enough of that, mm? <laughs> you, you good? <laughs> you behind the scenes with Reed? All right, man, cool. <laughs> bro, I was a pleasure doing these with you. Uh, you guys know how to get a hold of us, man. If you got questions for any of these guests, you can definitely reach out to him. Please go subscribe right now. His Twitch TV is twitch.tv forward slash moisture. moisture. And that's moisture with a zero, not a O. Okay. Definitely. CG Angel? Uh, Angel. Angel. Okay. We're going to have to find you on Twitter. We'll actually put that on the page. So we'll have links to you guys. Okay. okay? Cool. And then, of course, you know how to find your boy at Coach Silky. Um, Zane, a million Samsons on Twitter. Still putting it down. You, uh, I know you were still working on some stuff for your uh, higher lander. Yeah. You're working on your website still. Yeah. Once you get that up, man, send us some links so we can put it out to the fans of the show. Okay, cool. And then uh, also, if you got questions or if there's a genre that you want us to pick apart or have Angel hate on, you can reach <laughs> us at goteamlift at gmail.com. That may be our new thing. We may send you anime. Segment. We will pick a, a anime that somebody tells us they love. And we'll send it to you to rip it apart and tell us why it sucks. I apologize in advance. No. You see how he looked down because he didn't even want to look you in the eye that he's not sorry he's going to ruin your life. That's <laughs> Guys, as we always say, man, it's a pleasure. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching the TV. And if you see this special and you haven't subscribed, please push that subscribe button. We're trying to grow this thing, man. We're trying to just bring this kind of crazy team lift vibe to all of this. And, man, just keep bringing you the same episodes and opening up the world to animated you and your family. Hope you had a great time watching it. Love you. Peace. Thanks for listening to the Team Lift Otaku Lounge with your hosts, Zane Lopez and Roderick McDaniel. Please join us again next week as we discuss more things about anime and otaku culture. And be sure to follow us on our Twitter pages, at GoTeamLift, as well as our personal pages, at A Million Samsons and at Coach Silky. Please subscribe to our YouTube page at www.youtube.com forward slash Team Lift. And if you have any questions about anime or otaku culture in general, please drop us a line at goteamlift at gmail.com. Thank you so much and have a great week.